In today's video, we're working on this 2020 VW T6.1 and doing our front sound deadening upgrade. Good morning, guys. It's Tim from Advanced Link Car Tech. Hope you're all keeping very well indeed. So, as I said, we've got a brand new ish. VW T6.1 uh, that's come from a local conversion company called Wessex Fans. They've delivered it to the customer. Now the customer's come to us for some upgrades. Um, so it's a pretty cool looking van. It's got a pop top. It's got a nice little conversion inside with the abt uh, front body kit on it, which is it's quite cool. It's quite cool. So if you've seen our other video, which this customer has of our VW T6 Ultimate Front Sound Deadening Upgrade, this is what we're doing on this vehicle. Now, okay, it's a similar type of videos to the T6, but more in keeping with the T6.1. So I'm just going to run through what we're actually going to be doing. So we're going to be starting off in the engine bay and we're going to remove all the paneling for the scuttle panel and the wiper blades and all that sort of stuff. And whereas before we fitted silent coat, silent coats in at the moment, as of June 2021, it's very difficult to get hold of. So we're going towards Dodo. Um, nothing, there's no real difference between them. They're almost the same product. It's just by a different brand. So we're going to be fitting, um, once we've taken all the engine bay apart as much as we can, we're going to be fitting the Dodo Mat Pro 2 mil um, into the behind Behind the scenes so that's all along all along here we're going to try and take off the engine lining insulation panel here and see if we can do a bit behind there the doors um because it's come from this conversion company they've already done a few little bits of sound deadening already so we're going to take that out and then put our own stuff in in place so uh factory speaker they've put in some sound deadening around the 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 OEM speaker, but this speaker is being replaced by an Alderson upgrade, so that's all coming out. We're going to remove the paneling here, uh, the sort of the interior door panel, and I believe take this off. If not, I'll have to go around the other side. There you go. This is this new product that you might be able to see it, but there is some silent coat going on in there, so we need to pull it out and see to what extent it has been done. So we're going to. Um, we're doing our three stage system so the inner panel this sorry the inner door panel which is the outside bit here this panel and then the door card in the dodo mat 2 mil and then we're going to put some dodo acoustic liner the 15 mil stuff on the inside of the door card um let's just pop round here where mark is just currently taking out the seats because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking out the flooring and doing all of that um yeah so you can see some some silent coat in there so we're going to pull the door back we can see a little bit of what looks like water or condensation in there so we need to see what's going on with that and then we're going to start us from fresh so i'll go back around here uh, mark's already taken out the passenger seat and it's got all of this wiring that we need to tidy up and get it ready to be removed so that we can take all of this flooring out and then we're going to be doing um 100% coverage with silent coat 4 mil, which is like what we did with the T6. Because it's the 4 mil and the slightly thicker stuff, we've got that, so we're going to use that because it is a good product because of its thickness. Um, the roof lining is coming out up to here, so around the pop top area. We're going to drop it and then we're going to do the dodo 2 mil again, but then also drop on top of that the 6 mil dodo liner just to give it as as much noise uh, cancellation as possible so that's all going to be dropped out and then we're also as part of the floor we're going to jack the vehicle up and we're going to remove the interior wheel arches which is what's recommended when we did this originally when we did the t6 by silent coat get this up get the wheel arch out and silent coat or do we're going to be do dodoing behind the scenes on that one and then we're going to be doing the replica on the inside of the wheel arch just here now if i remember rightly um we're going to be doing four mil here and also on the external here just to give it as much road noise uh, prevention as possible uh, but like i said it's a nice tidy little conversion um it's already got some stuff behind the scenes that we don't need to because the back's already done there's just been no treatment to the front which is what we're then going to be doing 
It's quite an involved job. It takes about mm, half a day to strip the front end out to the level that we can then just work on it. About two days to do all of this sound deadening and then another half a day to start putting it all back together again. And as I said, at the same time, we're also gonna be fitting the Alderson front APK165 and then we're gonna be doing our sound pods or audio pods, which is just sorting it out over there. Our pods here that are gonna be then trimmed up and go in the rear quarters uh, for the APX 6.5 Audison uh, rear components, or coaxial, sorry. Um, so yeah, sound upgrading, sound upgrading of the audio. Um, and what we'll do is once the vehicle's a bit more stripped now and we're starting to put some sound editing down, I'll come back, show you where we're at with it all, and uh, we'll go from there. Right, so the van is all now nicely stripped down. Um, Richard over there is working on the driver's door, putting the 2 mil Dodo Mat Pro on. Um, the flooring is out and all the seats are out, so you can see the level of work that we have to pull out before we can even get going. And the roof lining is now out and everything all disconnected so that we can do a lovely coating all along here. Um, Mark is currently working on the scuttle panel, just cleaning it all down. So we're going to try and cover as much of all of this metal work as possible so that we can prevent as much noise as possible. He'll also be taking this down and we're going to be doing some of the black dodo mat behind here and in here. We've gone for black, not because it's really any different to the silver, but just because it helps keep it more... OEM more factory looking and and all of that sort of stuff. So yeah, a good point of the build um, Like I said, it, it's not a very it it's simple work, but it's just very time-consuming cutting all the panels to size Laying it down and it just it just takes its time, which is why it does cost quite a bit to do all of this um, so what we'll do is the next time we'll check back will be before we start putting the panels back on where everything has all been sound editing so that we can just have a quick walkthrough of what we've done and the parts that we've used, all the equipment. Okay, so like the T6 video, I thought I'd just quickly go through some of the product that we're using just so you can get a feel for it, what it looks like and how it looks sort of thing. So we've got a good few boxes of the Dodo Mat 2 mil Pro. And as you can see, it's got like this honeycomb hexagon type shape uh, feel to it. Um, so this is the two mil stuff. It's quite malleable and quite easy to work with a nice small sort of sheet. Um, that's going on like the doors and general area within the vehicle. We've then got the silent coat four mil, which is is more of a squarey type shape, but it's, it's much thicker. As you can see the bitumen inside, I think it's bitumen anyway. Um, it makes it, it's a lot more difficult to work with because it's double the, double the, the width or the depth, sorry. Um, and yeah, it's just to give you a much overall bigger sounding or decrease, especially on panels like the flooring and the roofing and stuff like that. We've then got the Dodo Mat 6mm insulator. Um, it's more of like a foamy back, well, it's a, it's a sticky back foam, and that's going especially on the roof just to help with the absorption there. And then on the door cards, we've then got the Dodo Mat sound absorber, the, I think it's the 15 mil or 150, no, I think it's 15 mil. Um, and yeah, it's a decent egg, egg cone shaped foam that, like you've probably seen in like recording studios and stuff like that so it's really designed because of its shape and how it how it's got these dimples in it basically pulls the sound in and stops it from going any further so um the last bit that we've also been talking about which richard's just uh, mark's just doing at the moment is the dodo map pro 2 mil it's going in there just to keep it as nice looking as possible it's exactly the same as the other two mil stuff it's just that it's black it's a bit more expensive because of that but it gives it a slightly better look and feel once it's all installed compared to the sort of the silver aspect where it'd be too much of a contrast so we'll stop in a little bit later once some more of the sound editing's done and uh, we'll go from there okay so we've done quite a bit already mainly to the external sides whilst richard has been doing the door cards so first and foremost uh as the as the van's still jacked up we've done the silent coat four mil in the areas that you can see there's no point doing anywhere else in the wheel arch just because it's all engine based this is where sound will directly project from the wheel and going up inside to the cab so this is getting four mil and then the internal wheel arch is getting four mil as well uh, mark has done the scuttle panel and as you can see 
he's done a pretty decent job here in pretty much every metal surface that you can see has now got the dodo matte pro black so it's in keeping with the vehicle like i said earlier and it looks really good i'm just going to get a torch or something just so that you can see how that looks whilst i talk about this bit here so we've done the internal of the bonnet as you can see with the dodo matte pro black Oh yeah, there, cheers, Mark. And as you can see, look, as I sweep across, down and in there, all the way across, and all that, yeah, very good job. Okay, and there you can see in the in the bonnet itself, we've done the Dodo Pro Black, and then the insulet panel will go back on. And then just so that you can see it here as well, there's the internal wheel arch again with four mil, and it's all looking good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sweep past and go into the door just open it slowly and here we are so this is now uh, almost ready for the Audison speakers to go in but this is what we've done so we've got the two mil on the inside of the door panel which is this part here we've then put the door card back on and put the dodo mat two millimeter everywhere where you can see and it will have a bit more going in on here once the new speaker is in Here's the internal of the door card, just sat in the door frame, just so that you can see how it all looks overall. So again, we've got the two mil dodo mat already all nicely laid out, and then the sound absorber, uh, I can't remember what it's called again, but it's the dodo mat pro one. And yeah, just to really stop any extra noise coming from the door, from the outside, going into the inside cab of the vehicle. And Richard over there is just doing the passenger side. So we've still got the flooring to do, and we've still got the roof to do, but we're making good progress. So once that's done, we'll do the next video. Okay, so we're pretty much, well, nearly there. We're just about to start the build back up of the vehicle. And before we do that, I just wanted to show you the next few bits that we've achieved. So the wiring is ready for the rear speakers that we're doing, but that's not really what the video is about. But we might do a separate video just to show you how they look. So, um, flooring is is 95 percent done we've just got a little bit here and here and all of that to do uh, but it's looking pretty decent at the moment so this was the silent coat four mil that we've laid down there and then up here you you are because of the pop top you're sort of semi-limited about what you can and can't fit so it's better to get some adhesion in than none at all um so you can see these segments here they're going to just try and with the um the roof lining just see how much more we can get away with because we can't do too much because otherwise the roof lining won't go back on so they're going to see what we can work with but if you see this foamy stuff here what we've done under here is we've got the dodo map pro two millimeter and you might be able to just see it just sort of poking through there that's gone down on all of this part where you can see the black stuff and then what we've done is we've then dropped some dodo super liner the six mil stuff so it's a little bit different to the um the acoustic liner the 15 mil acoustic liner that we did on the doors um this one's a bit thinner but it's designed again for a specific role so hopefully that once all this all back together that when he's driving along he's massively decreased his sound uh, coming into the vehicle but also because of the audio we're doing inside of it for the new front speakers tweeters and the rear speakers at the back there it should sound pretty cool so what i'm going to do is i'm just very quickly going to show you the sound that this door is now making so this door is a, is quite a bit heavier than what it was before and then just wait for the thud so that's a pretty decent thud and that's all due to the extra sound deadening that is now in this door. So it's creating quite a nice acoustic environment in here for the music and it should sound mega as well as obviously helping the uh, road noise from coming up or preventing the road noise from coming up from the flooring. And as you can see here, we've got a little bit more to do up in here and in the back bit there, but yeah, it's all looking pretty good. Um, the next video or the next part of the video won't be too much about what we fitted. I might just roll through all the product that we fitted just for your benefit, show you the van all back together. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay guys, T6.1 is all back together in this awesome, awesome color, sort of gray YT. So just to quickly run through uh, some of the products that we've done. Oh, actually I'll just show you the inside with it all back together now. The boys have done it, hello Mr. Snail. Okay, so 
everything's all back in together all the lining roof floor dash all that sort of stuff the guys are going to take it for a quick road test um just to make sure there's no extra free uh shape rattle and roll and all that sort of stuff um so just quickly to run through some of the products we fitted we fitted a dodo map pro 2 mil we fitted the Pro 2 Black in the engine bay. Um, we have done the Dodo Super Liner up in there on top of the 2 mil. Down there we've done the Silent Coat 4 mil. And then followed that uh, with... What did we do it with? Oh no, that was the doors. Um, in the doors, so it's just 4 mil Silent Coat down there. In here we've done our free stage. So we've done this panel here. We've done the interior door panel where the speaker and all the electronics are sat and then we've done this door card and in there we've got the super sorry dodo pro 2 mil followed by the absorber the one fifth uh, the 15 mil version um and that's it vans all back together should be sounding lovely nice fud when we shut the door all sounding very good and yeah um, if you've got a T6.1 and you need to do this ultimate front sound deadening, we don't just do the fronts, we can do the whole van, but obviously it costs a bit more and takes a lot longer, then get in touch with us. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying these T6.1 videos. We've got a lot coming for it. Hit, hit like on that button. Hit like on the video. Just shows that you've seen it and watched it and all that sort of stuff. And as always, thanks for watching.